Because whatever I want, I'm going to get. Whatever I want, I have to get. This is Sean Combs, a.k.a. Diddy, and he was just sued by one of his producers who alleges S.A. and trafficking. But it's not the first time Diddy's been accused of abuse, and people have been speaking out against him for years. Somehow, though, his empire remains intact. Where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose. For the next 48 hours, he's with me, so um, and yeah, he signed the Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. My brother right here from day one, we used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother. But you were 13, what were you I saying? I went there to see the lifestyle. I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. There were very curious things taking place, uh -huh. and I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh -huh. Starting to act different, huh? You ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't, I mean. I was sick of having to cover up everything that you did. And I'm like, well, she doesn't have to f with you. She doesn't want to. He was upset. I realized like, oh, this guy is dangerous. In the newest civil suit, Rodney Lil Rod Jones, the producer on Diddy's most recent album, accused the rapper of S.A. and threatening him for more than a year. And he's seeking $30 million in damages. Doing this situation is not easy. Taking Puff to court, suing him is not easy. Jones also alleged that Diddy was involved in transporting drugs and sex workers, some of whom were minors, and asked for criminal investigation into this RICO enterprise. RICO stands for the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, created in 1970 to deal with those engaged in organized crime. Diddy's lawyers say the allegations are pure fiction, though. Just a few months ago, R&B singer Cassie Ventura filed a lawsuit against Diddy, accusing him of and a decade of physical and emotional abuse. She settled with Diddy outside of court. But even more SA allegations have come out against him since, and some say it's Cassie's bravery that empowered other survivors to speak up. Diddy has denied all allegations. Many, including Jones, say that Diddy, who has a net worth of $1 billion, has leveraged his wealth and influence to skirt accountability, despite so many speaking out against him. What do you think? Could this be the end for Diddy?